Earlier this week, I went to Madison, Wisconsin for the kickoff of a national tour for a package of restored films sponsored by the Library of Congress. The purpose of the tour, which will eventually visit all 50 states, is to call attention to the issue of film preservation, which is difficult and expensive, but necessary because unless they're cared for, old movies can slowly disintegrate until their images are lost to us forever. I spoke to an audience of avid moviegoers at the Madison Civic Center about one of my favorite movies on the tour. One of the most famous sets ever constructed was the war room in this movie. Remember the great line, you can't fight in here? This is the war room. <laughs> That's right, Stanley Kubrick's Dr. Strangelove from 1963, a satirical classic that holds up well but was in danger of destruction, believe it or not, before it was restored. General Turgidson, I find this very difficult to understand. I was under the impression that I was the only one in authority to order the use of nuclear weapons. Another film was one of the earliest movies ever made, The Great Train Robbery from 1903. More than half of all silent films ever made no longer exist. I talked with Patrick Lockney, curator of film programs for the Library of Congress, about the challenge of film preservation. West Side Story, for example, is rumored to have preservation problems. Uh, all the film prints that uh, are known to exist now that date back to the, to the uh, release of the film are, are faded beyond recovery. And uh, archivists I know of have not been able to locate any non-faded film prints, so the preservation of that film is not known. Orson Welles once told Peter Bogdanovich that movies are like pieces of time, and it's good to know that some of that time is being preserved. Now let's take another look at the movies we reviewed this week. Two thumbs down for The Scarlet Letter, an absurd attempt to turn Nathaniel Hawthorne's classic novel about sin and repression into a modern story about sex and romance. 